This is Chris with USGalaxyS3.com. We're looking at a Sprint version of the Samsung Galaxy S3, but you should be able to use this keyboard on any version uh, of the S3, including the international versions. Uh, pretty much, I've, as far as keyboards go, I really like uh, Swift Key. First, I was a uh, dedicated swipe user, and then I changed over. And with the latest edition, uh, it only gets better. We're able to talk to them a little bit at CTIA. We downloaded this from the Google Play Store. We actually paid uh, for this. They do have a free version out there. I accept the agreement. We're going to choose our language. Let's go go ahead and download that module. In this version, you can enable multiple uh, language modules. I believe it just uh, said there. We we'll go ahead and enable it. And then we're going to hit back. We're going to set it as the default. Enter our typing style, which is rapid and not precise for me. I'm going to go ahead and learn from Facebook. One nice feature is that you can minimize the keyboard by swiping down instead of using the back. If you type something incorrectly, you can swipe back and it'll delete it. We can also learn from Gmail. Grant access. You can learn from Twitter and RSS feed, and you can also learn from your SMS. We actually don't have any uh, SMS on the device right now. Sometimes it takes a couple of attempts for it to download the information uh, from those accounts. When you're done, hit done. Now it says it's ready to use. I'm going to go into the uh, settings. There's a lot of uh, settings for layouts personalization in case you didn't enter it the first time you can theme your keyboard change the uh, colors around you can add uh, arrow keys you can show foreign characters advanced spacebar will always enter a prediction I actually choose from the three predictions uh, up top. So I'm going to go with always insert a space. We can customize the audio and haptic feedback. We're not going to use a sound but we are going to have it vibrate. With this you'll be able to change the duration of the vibration. And you can also feel it vibrate to show you how long it is. Right from the settings so you don't have to guess. It'll track your usage and how much more efficient it's made your typing. Here's the keyboard. Two quick clicks of the space bar will insert a period. If you need to do a question mark, just click and hold that and swipe to the question mark. Overall, I feel like this is a very efficient way to type. Uh, if you type common messages out to people, it'll predict them. It comes very handy the more you use it. So for more information about the U.S. versions of the Galaxy S3, please visit our website at usgalaxyS3.com, like our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.